Sponsor Us was basically founded uh, about uh, three years ago. It's a division of our larger company, which is Wilbur Products, which was founded by my father about 45 years ago. We specialize in thermoset plastics, uh, Basically, polyester resins, urethanes, and epoxies are our real forte. Um, that's what basically gave us the ability to create these products for people um, because we've been doing this for the bowling industry for about 45 years. So that's that's where we got our, our basically our start in the epoxy industry and our start with uh, learning to create repair systems using epoxy. Um, SRS about, well, I should say about five years ago, uh, we, we, I, I coach hockey and I'm involved with youth hockey in a, on a real major level and saw that there was a real need for kids to have sticks repaired and, and, and adults also. Lots of broken sticks that are basically 100% useful except for a small section of them. And using the technology that we've gained from working in the bowling industry, we were able to create specialty epoxies that, that would answer the need for that and we designed the Air Corps which was uh, a real kind of a just an epiphany basically where we came up with a great idea in order to create an internal plug for it and we just started running with the idea and then from that people said well that's great you can fix a shaft but what can you do for me on the blades and hosels because we get about four or five times as many broken blades as we do hog or as we do internal shafts so what can we do for that um, now that you've got a shaft repair system for us? So we, so that got us working on the blade and hosel repair system, and and through about two and a half years of really uh, lots of just lots of testing and lots of uh, trial and error and a lot of failures, um, we came up with a way to uh, to make this system work um, using especially epoxies that are engineered strictly for the hockey industry. And, uh, and also by finding the correct carbon fiber blends to go with it. It's awesome. Great, well, that was great. Good deal, thanks a lot today. Basically, <clears throat> in this system you take a stick, it's broken in half, we cut away the damage using the chop saw, then we're gonna take and we're gonna ream using a tool, using a, uh, a groovy bit, we're gonna ream grooves inside each end of the stick using this groovy bit, okay? We're gonna ream grooves inside of the sticks, both halves. Once we have the grooves accomplished, and you can see those grooves inside there. Do you see those? Okay, so once you have that, we're going to put the grooves in there. Now we're going to take, we're going to put a foam plug inside the stick because the epoxy is only going to want to go down this far because we're going to have an insert in here. So this stops the epoxy from traveling to the end of the stick. So we put a foam plug in there using this small device. We place it in there. Okay, basically like that. We already have one in there, but you can see the foam inside there. Okay, once we have that, we're gonna take it, we're gonna put it into the bracket and align the stick. Now we already have the stick aligned in this bracket. So it comes out nice and smooth, nice and straight. We have alignment guides. Check the alignment with this. Make sure all three surfaces are touching properly. If they aren't, we shim the we shim it using a little bit of tape, like that. We shim the stick in order to get it perfectly straight. And you can check that with these alignment guides. Once we have the stick aligned, we're going to put the insert in. This is a carbon fiber insert. Okay, it stretches. It's small. It adapts to whatever size stick that you have. It can get larger. It can get smaller. Okay, we take that. We're going to narrow it down. Slide that down in set it right on top of that foam plug that's in there okay once we have that inside there we're going to replace our shaft back onto the stick okay we put that back on there clamp it scissors we're going to take some sealing tape and we're going to seal we're going to seal this gap between the stick like that, making sure it's nice and sealed on all sides using special tape that we have. Okay, right now we have the damage cut away, we have the grooves cut in the top and bottom, we have a foam plug in the bottom to stop the epoxy from traveling too far, we have the uh, carbon fiber insert in there, 
we ha make sure that we have a clear tunnel all the way down so that the epoxy right. can pour all the way down and reach it. So if there's a handle plug in the top of the stick, we would have to remove that because we're going to pour from the top. Now we basically just take our epoxy system. We're going to mix part A. We're going to mix part A into part B. Okay. We're going to take that stirred up for about a minute. Take that. We're just going to pour it down the top of the stick. We're going to pour that into the top of the stick. The epoxy is going to travel down the stick, down to the insert, and basically create a scenario like this. It's going to fill that, foam, that carbon fiber air core plug. It's going to allow it to saturate and, and through the carbon fiber. It's going to fill those grooves inside the stick and it's going to create basically locking lugs in the sides of the stick in the top and the bottom holding it together. We've got the foam plug that stops the epoxy from traveling too far. So we've made a solid seal, uh, perfectly formed plug inside the stick that holds the two halves together. This has about uh, two to three times the breaking strength of most common sticks. Uh, it adds, it, it actually allows the flex to come back for a majority of the uh, insert, but it only eliminates flex over about an inch of this insert. So you have normal flex over the majority of the stick, and like I said, you only lose about an inch of flex on that stick. And that's how you do an internal plug. Okay? Here's a finished one. Okay, yeah, here's the finished one if you want to see it. Right here. This is, you can see the, you can see the, uh, the plug dairy on it right there, where you put the air core. Take it, perfectly normal flex. And that's what they're like. Pro level play.